Well, good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And today, I'm here to unveil the official release for Prodi. One, go! Now you may or may not have noticed different motor setups, the difference between semi and full auto, or maybe even different stocks attached to my prototype Protean unit. This is all thanks to being takedown and modular coming apart in just seven pins. So this results in the ability to swap out your stock, your flywheel cage in less than a minute, and maybe just a little longer for your pusher mac. So let's demonstrate. For this demo, I'll be swapping out the stock and pusher neck while also undoing the receiver cover to show off where the cage is, how it's constructed, and how it might be removed. I forgot to bring a cage with me for this demonstration, so I won't actually swap it out here. It's still a pretty accurate representation of what needs to be done to swap out the pusher neck, as you will need to reconnect the flywheel motors. As you can see, I fumble around a bit, but the overall time is still pretty fast. And remember that swapping out the pusher mat is the worst case scenario. And do I need to mention that swapping out muzzle devices is as easy as... With all of these features, I'd hope Protean truly lives up to its namesake. An adaptable platform suitable for almost any game. This is similar to the vision of one of my inspirations, the Foxfire, except modular, horizontal wheel, griffin-like, and takedown. So maybe you you gotta tune down for a 100 FPS cab HPZ. You can run the old worker serrated wheels on 43 and a half crush with the right half-length darts. That should get you right around the mark. If not, there's certainly another setup that will do the trick. Maybe you want to shoot all the way up to 300 FPS. Well, two stages of Band Blaster's Banshee wheels will do that. So, maybe you just like different stock every now and then. Maybe you like to swap between full amps or a different mag type once I develop those mag wells. And of course, maybe you like a conservative or lightweight semi-auto for certain games or certain playstyles, and maybe sometimes you want the fun switch of full auto. Protean should be capable of all of this, and <laughs> I've seen what all of y'all have done with the Griffin. I'm sure in due time it'll be able to do plenty more. And if you don't mind me tooting my own horn, a lot of the handling characteristics carry over from the Griffin, and they're quite nice. The bore axis to rail distance is still close, allowing for that nice, intuitive, snappy aiming. It might be a lot heftier than a Griffin, but the center of gravity is still right around where the grip is. It has all the little quality of life elements, a conventionally positioned, strife-like mag release, flared magwell, and in addition to that, a nice, even snappier trigger pull with a shorter 4 to 1 gear ratio. And of course, any solenoid trigger with just a switch speaks for itself. And that's really it, folks. There's a build guide, documentation, an FAQ, and bill of materials in addition to the files, which are released now publicly and open source forever. Besides that, 
hardware kits you can find from Silver Fox Industries currently. And in the future, there may be pre-builds provided by whatever other vendor in the future. Besides that, thanks for watching and if you decide to build a Protean or buy one, I hope it serves you well. And finally, I'd like to thank all my beta testers, everyone who volunteered even. I know maybe if you didn't finish a Protean, things come up, life happens, and I don't blame you at all. I can't thank all of y'all enough. It was my first time running a beta, and y'all really showed up. I was given so much specific targeted feedback that there is no way I could have thought of everything to address on my own. There's so many of y'all, there's no way I can name all of y'all, but thank you. You know who you are.